I've decided to go to a kiosk here in the mall to pick up some blue light glasses. I ordered some off Amazon. I also got some from Superstore. And they're sort of just, you know, basic reading glasses where these ones are going to be fitted and also look a lot better, I think. So I'm happy to get some new blue light glasses. Don't have vision problems, but spend my life on a computer. So having the blue light filter definitely helps every day. There we go. Those look pretty good, eh? I like them. Now I got to know the, uh, the issue of the fogging glasses with mask scenario. I think they look pretty fresh though and they're gonna help uh, protect my eyes and prevent headaches as we work into the night on a computer screen in a lit up Lego room with 27 pot lights. Blaring light. <laughs> It'll be good though. I, uh, I look forward to it and uh, I'm excited to wear blue light glasses now. At the art store, Shazay would love that one. Personally, woof, that looks awesome. It's pretty cool. Just at a video game store now, and I'm seeing if I can pre-order the new Lego Star Wars game for Xbox One. This is EB Games. They have a pretty good selection of like toys and stuff too. Just gonna see if they have any Lego. I guess they only have the Pokemon Mega Constructs right now, but no Lego. I'm an Xbox guy. They got the new Xbox here. Definitely gonna get the new Lego Star Wars game when it comes out. Probably wait for it just to be on the shelf here and just come in and pick it up. No need to pre-order it, although you do get that Luke Skywalker with the blue milk, I think. I don't know, they don't seem overly uh, confident here. Going to another store here, and this is Risky Business. The Disney store is crazy. If you can't tell, I get sucked into the trap all the time. If you can see my cardigan there once again. Repping this in the mall, no problem. Oh my gosh, I'm immediately in love with this shirt right here. That is so cool. I also don't mind this one here, but that Mickey one is just off the charts epic. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Looks like the shirts are $36.99. Oh my gosh, it's coming home with me. That is so cool. And I found another one. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it's coming home with me again. Check out the child merch here. I like the first one there. Let's see that comic book one. Oh, are these stretchy pants? <laughs> this is pretty awesome though right here. I don't know. I like my classic Mickey shirts. If it was just a child, maybe, but I don't know if I really like that artwork. <laughs> Protect snack attack. <laughs> And of course, when we're at West Ham's Mall, we always end up at the Lego store, don't we? Now that I'm back from the mall, my puppy dogs are pretty excited to see me here. I'm going to go shovel the snow, though, sadly for them. Aren't we, Tico? Yes, I know. I know, Stel. Yeah. I know. Oh. Oh, Mr. Jealous Man. Yes, Mr. Jealous Man. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go shovel the snow now, puppy dogs. Now that we're back home, I'm gonna work on this mock here of the graveyard. So we got the Rise of Voldemort Harry Potter set, the Tom Riddle grave or tombstone. Then we have this hidden side set times two. And I think the combination of all of those we create a nice looking custom graveyard. I'm gonna start this in about two hours. It's two o'clock now. You know what? I think I gotta go back to the mall though. Probably not today, but maybe tomorrow, the next day after that. Get these adjusted just because I feel like when they adjusted the glasses, they are just a little bit too tight on the, whatever, my like right above my ear. So I feel like we've gotta go do some adjustments to that, but that's all good. And I'm gonna schedule this live stream Change my shirt into one of the new ones. I don't know if I'll do Pluto or Mickey. Build this thing and take a look at the custom graveyard after. It's going to be super cool. I really just can't get over this LEGO City layout. It's epic. I was thinking the graveyard should probably go here. And this gas station, we can either move down there or we can put on any of the open base plates here in the city. 
Got a lot of open base plates here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Uh, half there, so eight. Eight and a half. That's probably going to be parking for police. Nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and a half base plates open. So we've got a lot of space to create mocks, and the first one is going to be the graveyard. The graveyard, Tico. The graveyard. He is pumped, aren't you, dude? How cute you are. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You are a gentleman, aren't you? Yep. Pretty cute, man. <laughs> So I was just sitting here just talking with one of our members for quite a long time. It's a good conversation. And I just uh, started making the video for Brixie, processing, editing that. I, did I show you guys new glasses? Yeah, I already showed you. Uh, that's good. It's now 3.30. We're live streaming in half an hour. You know what's funny? I haven't even showered yet today. I uh, Actually, I don't smell that bad. It's it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Um, I guess the benefit of working from home, you can just chill and not worry about what you smell like, I guess. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start building the graveyard right away here. I'm going to put on one of my fresh shirts, and I actually made a Lego store video while we were at the mall, because we went to the mall, we dropped off those parcels, and we went to the Disney store, we looked for video games, which I want to pre-order probably online to just ensure that I get that little mini Luke Skywalker minifigure, why am I calling a mini minifigure, with the uh, blue milk. And then also, um, what else did we do there? Oh yeah, I got uh, some other cool stuff. I got Jose's birthday present. She won't watch this, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we got it from the art gallery when we, when we were there. I'm sure when her birthday comes, I'll show you what that is. I'll make sure that she doesn't watch this because that would be a spoiler alert. I can't wait to build this graveyard and... Throw on some new Disney stuff. Let's go shower up so we can do that ASAP. These glasses, actually, I mentioned, they're squeezing. They're not squeezing. I think they've, they've flexed out a bit now, and I've been wearing them for whatever since I got home, and, and they feel fine. Uh, oh, also while we were at the mall there, too, I uh, went to the Bell uh, kiosk. That's the Bell cell phone provider. And I asked them about uh, getting the new Samsung Galaxy S21. And then also putting Jose on my plan because her phone is crap. It's like the S6 or the S7. So it's an older version, a number of years old. And I have the S10. That's what I'm filming on right now. I do a lot of vlog filming on my phone. I know it's, it's hard to believe, but all of these vlogs that you're watching on this channel are all done through my phone. And so I figured, why wouldn't I get the new S21, which is the newest Galaxy Samsung phone, and we're going to have better camera quality and video quality and audio quality for these vlogs and for taking pictures uh, for our social media and doing TikTok videos and stuff like that. So I figured, why the heck wouldn't I have the new one? And then I can give Jose my old one. And the cool thing about that is when we take both of our plans that we currently have and we combine them to one, they'll actually be the same cost as getting, uh, getting uh, them together on, on, under one plan under the Brixie business name and then I'll get the new S21 and she'll have the S10 here which is still really good and all we have to do is just buy out this phone which is like well there's like 300 bucks remaining on it so if I buy out this phone and then we get a new contract I'm actually gonna it's gonna be the same cost so essentially I can get the new phone for 300 bucks and I think it's worth it because we film so much content on this channel and on Brixie uh, using this phone, I may as well have the best quality camera that we can possibly do. The reason I use it is because it's so convenient. Not everybody, not every time I film a video do I want to have a microphone on and feel like the robotic man. I want to just film from my phone and whip it out of my pocket and boom, there we go. Yeah. I also got to eat some cold pizza before I uh, stream here. I haven't eaten since breakfast and I'll get hungry during the stream. Cold pizza looks good in the sunlight, doesn't it? Ooh. Hey, check out these socks. They got the Canadian poutine on them. You know, I'm wearing the matching underwear, but I don't think I'm going to show you that. Make a quick iced coffee. Am I the only guy that does this? So 
the milk jug is essentially empty, but I go in there thinking that it's like half full or full, and I come in here and I just aggressively, oh no, whoops, it's really light, not heavy. Maybe not that aggressive. Just a funny thing. I'm pretty sure some of you probably do that too. <laughs> oh geez, funny, funny. Four minutes until the stream starts, talking about milk jug lifting. Typical. I almost forgot my slippers. That would just be an absolute tragedy. I'd have to leave midstream. I'd have to come get them. Okay, like, I'm just saying, this shirt is freaking awesome. Like, wow. It must be my new favorite Disney shirt. I'm so glad I went to the Disney store today. <laughs> yes. So cool. And I'm a minute late for the stream. Toodaloo. So, Jose just got home. Ow! And unfortunately, she got home just now and it's 8.15 at night. Pretty sure she's probably gonna need a glass of wine. She was supposed to be home at five. She actually had to uh, go to the office today, which is sort of different for her. But the problem is, is her car's been parked in a warm garage, but it hasn't been like driven very much in the last few weeks. Well, the last, since we've been in lockdown essentially, yeah. right? So for the last year. So today was minus like 23 out. So the vehicle made it fine out of the garage and then it got there and I'm sure she parked and then it was parked there for probably eight hours or so. And when she go to start a car, it didn't move. It was just tick, 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 tick. Because obviously the battery died. Uh, I was live streaming at the time. She didn't give me a call, but her, uh, her uh, brother works or lives near where she was. So came and boosted the car. It didn't work. So I had to call the tow truck and wait 45 minutes for it to come boost the car. It's just uh, one of the things of living in Canada, I guess. And the tow truck got it started and now it's in the garage. So probably have to go to Canadian Tire or wherever and buy a little trickle charger. And what you do is you just uh, charge this battery charging kit and then it just trickle charges your battery. So I'll have to go buy one of those or we'll just have to start starting up her car and driving it around the block every every few days and that'll keep the battery charged. You must, I mean, your, your drive to work is 30 minutes, okay? It's crazy it didn't charge the battery. It's just because it's minus 23. That's why. I think any car, it doesn't matter. Any car would do that. And it doesn't need, to, the battery doesn't, doesn't, doesn't need to be replaced because you replace it in the summer. Well, but between driving my car once every 10 days yeah. and then normally even if I do drive, it's outside for maybe two hours in the cold, but it was outside in the cold for eight hours, so. After that, you brought hot chocolate, eh? Yep. I need, I'm like permanently cold right now. I need to warm up a little. She brought hot chocolate. I can't wait to show you guys the graveyard that I just uh, built during the live stream. It's coming along nice. Oh my gosh, I just realized I haven't fed the dogs. I'm a terrible dog father. That's probably why they're going so crazy. Because they know their mom will be They're ex expecting to get W'd and also fed, but I was live streaming. I started at, oh geez, I started at four and it's now eight. So I live stream for four hours. I'll show you what I just made. I'll show you right now. Yeah, I'm excited to show you guys this. So as you know, whoops, as you know, I always flick the wrong light switches. Uh, we started working on the graveyard. It's gonna be a mess over here. Don't worry about it. But yeah, this is the graveyard elements. I guess not too bad of a mess. We built the um, hidden side graveyard mystery. I think that's what it's called. Graveyard mystery, yeah. Two of those. Great sets. I've already started taking some of the elements off them, like the gates and stuff like that. Here's all the minifigs. We also built the uh, Rise of Voldemort. Oh, check this out. I'll show you something cool. This is the Rise of Voldemort here. Oh my gosh, look at him. Baby Vold in there. Look at Baby Vold. That's ridiculous. So, what you do is you lift this up, put Voldy in there, and then... <laughs> Isn't that cool? So what my plan is is to modularize all this stuff. Well, not modularize it, but build a graveyard. And I've decided that the graveyard's gotta be 48 studs, so a base plate and a half by 32 studs. I've started building my gate. My main mission is to only build this graveyard using pieces that I have. I don't wanna order pieces. So I've put the gate and I've used these textured bricks here and alternated them between the gates. So these gates are locked and this one opens, which is the center one. And then I'm going to blend in the fence like this. And then a little fence around the whole thing. Probably have to get some of those black fence pieces, unfortunately. 
I probably will have to order pieces to make it work, but it won't be too bad. I'm gonna try and salvage everything I can. I'll probably put the Voldemort set there. And then you'll see that this set comes with this shack here, also this tree. So I'll probably supersize that tree and supersize that shack. Put the shack here and the tree here. And then all these other graves, and we'll probably make a bunch of other graves, and we'll put those in front of Voldemort. And then we'll probably put a little landing area, a little path walking up to Voldemort and graves over here. I think that'll look really good in the end. It'll look really good in the Lego City. I could replace these for masonry, but I actually like it. Uh, Moon Man, who's a member on the Brixie YouTube channel, said that this actually reminds him of Malfoy's Manor Gate. I think it's a black gate, and I think it looks good. It looked a bit weird until we added the vines and the bushes and stuff. And I also used some slopes on the top here to create spikes. Coming along nicely though. And we're gonna progress with this night. It's already 8.22. Actually the Lego store video for Brixie and that's already processing. I just have to upload that. This is looking great though. I'm gonna go spend some time with my wife. Like I said, her car broke down, so the battery died. So yeah, she's probably a bit stressed out and we gotta walk the dogs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go uh, chill out with her for a bit. Look at Stella. Oh no, she just wants the pets. She said, you're building the graveyard all day. Why don't you pull away? She's like, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stella, you are so needy. <laughs> Look at the squish, though. If I stop touching her, she's like, hey, hey, you, get your hand back on me. <laughs> you are so cute, Stella. Look at you. <laughs> oh, yesterday I released a video on stocks. I'm sure you guys all saw that. <laughs> Oh man, good thing I didn't put my whole house into it. <laughs> they, they just went down. And now look at Dogecoin today. Elon Musk tweets about Dogecoin and one cent to six cents. Like, what? So now when you put money in Dogecoin, is Dogecoin going to go for a little run for the hills? Or is that going to crash tomorrow? You never know, it might be just temporary. You never know, these drops in AMC and all this Nokia and these drops in Blackberry might be temporary too. Maybe they're going back up. I don't know that. I'm not risking any more. <laughs> I'll stick to uh, real estate, blue chip stocks, maybe some crypto. I don't know about Dogecoin though. And precious metals. That's That's, that's like safe haven. This stuff is just nuts. 2021 is off to a crazy start. Let's just say that, stock market-wise. Lego-wise, too, though. I promise this won't become uh, whatever stock market stuff. I just wanted to vent about that one yesterday. But, yeah, I'm thinking of putting the uh, graveyard right here. I don't know if it'll look good beside the police station. The police station might have to move, but I'm thinking of getting that haunted house, too, right? Put the haunted house there, put the graveyard there. I think we're off to a great start. And I can't wait to continue working on this here tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to start editing this video. So I'm just uh, finishing up editing this video here. And boom! Yeah, baby. That a boy dry. <whistles> so I'm going to let this video process after I put this clip in there. I'm going to finish watching this Oilers game. Beauty. Tied 2-2. 15, sorry, 12 minutes to go. Oilers are still on a power play? Yeah, we're still on a power play, it looks like. Or is the thing wrong? No. That's, that's wrong. Okay, they ended it now because they just scored. Yeah, but uh, we're going to finish watching this. That's really about it for today. Hope you guys like that there. A little shopping excursion. The Disney Store, Disney shirts, glasses, much more, and also the graveyard. Take care. Bye.